everyone, Yoga with Mel here. Today I'm at the pool, and today's video is going to help anyone who is suffering from a torn meniscus, if you have knee pain, if you have arthritis in your knee, please consult with your physician or therapist before doing any of these uh, stretches. So we're going to show you some aqua yoga therapy uh, stretches, and my mom has been having a lot of knee pain. She has a torn meniscus, so I figured let's go to the pool and help you out. So here we have my mom, and mom, how are you feeling today? I'm good. Okay. I, we did this yesterday, and last night I felt relieved. Awesome, awesome. So you really feel that the aqua therapy and the yoga stretches um, have helped uh, in the healing process. Absolutely. Okay, awesome. So let's show everyone what they can do. Uh, right now, the first pose that she is going to do in the water is a modified bridge. Normally, traditional bridge, you have your whole back um, on the ground, the neck as well. She's not able to do that right now, but she is doing a modified bridge pose right here. And she's going to hold this uh, position for five breaths. She's gently lifting up her hips. Okay, so we're going to inhale through the nose and exhale. We'll do that four more times. We'll inhale and exhale. Three more inhale and exhale. Two more inhale and exhale. One more breath as you inhale deeply through the nose and exhale. Awesome. Slowly come back down. Give your body a break. It's very important to take your time doing these uh, stretches. There is no rush. Um, so the next movement that we're going to do is a bridge pose, but with a leg raise. So it's going to be a little bit harder. So of course, listen to your body at all times. Mom is going to, uh, my mom is going to demonstrate how she does this. So she is slowly going to lift up one leg as best as she can. And then she's, she's going to send her hips up a little bit higher. There you go. We're going to inhale through the nose and exhale. We have four more breaths. We're going to inhale through the nose and exhale. Three more. Inhale and exhale two more breaths inhale and exhale we got one more breath as we inhale through the nose and exhale awesome job mom slowly bring that leg down okay how does it feel good that's my injured um uh, yeah so it, i can't um put it completely straight yeah but it will get there of course of course no there is no rush so definitely she's taking her time but hey the fact that you're able to even lift it up is progress there mm -hmm. so That's let's uh, do the other side because we want to keep everything balanced so we're going to lift it up as we inhale through the nose okay. and okay. exhale See, now this one i have to Put on yes, one. so you so can't. Want to put no. On that yeah. Just of course. Like this. Yeah, um, so obviously she's not putting too much pressure on the injured leg. Um, and we're going to hang out here just for four more breaths. We're going to inhale through the nose and exhale. Three more inhale and exhale. Two more breaths. Inhale and exhale. One more breath, inhale, and exhale. Awesome job, mom. Good job. Of course you did. Of course, of course. Okay, so now we are on to our third yoga pose to help with a torn meniscus, and it is staff pose. So staff pose, you traditionally have your back super straight, legs straight out. Of course, she is only going to straighten out her legs her, the injured leg, which is the right one, um, as best as she can. And as you can see, that's as far as she can go. And that is perfectly fine. 
she's doing the best that she can. And for your staff pose, we're gonna hang out here for five breaths. So relax those shoulders as you inhale through the nose and exhale. Four more breaths, inhale and exhale. Three more breaths, inhale and exhale. Two more, inhale and exhale. One more breath as we inhale through the nose and exhale, awesome. So she is slowly going to transition from her staff pose. She's gonna go a little bit deeper into the water and we're gonna do our fourth yoga pose, which is warrior two. So warrior two is very good to strengthen her knee. It also helps with the healing process. So we're gonna start off with your injured leg first, mom. So yeah, there you go. So she has the right foot in front, left leg is behind us. She's gonna open up her arms out towards the side. So she has the right arm in front, the left hand is behind her. She's not bending too far into that knee, so be very mindful of your injured knee, guys. So inhale through the nose and exhale. Four more breaths as we inhale through the nose and exhale. We got three more breaths as we inhale and exhale. Two more, inhale and exhale. One more breath as we inhale through the nose and exhale, awesome. Slowly transition to the other leg. So all you have to do is turn towards the back, make it super easy for this transition. Left knee is now in front at a slight bent, slight bent knee here. We also have the left hand in front and the right hand is behind her. Five breaths here as we inhale through the nose and exhale. Four more breaths as we inhale through the nose and exhale. Three more inhale and exhale. Two more breaths as we inhale through the nose and exhale. We have one more breath as we inhale through the nose and exhale. Awesome. Great job, mom. Okay. All right. Our final yoga pose is going to be chair pose. So mom, I want you to lean against the side of the pool there. So have your hands firmly planted right there. And I want you to bring your feet together as best as you can. And very slowly pretend as if you're gonna sit back in a chair. Your back is super straight. The water is there to support you and help you. So we're gonna inhale through the nose. And exhale. Four more breaths, inhale and exhale three more breaths inhale and exhale two more breaths inhale and exhale one more breath as we inhale and exhale awesome slowly come up from that position how does your knee feel when you're in that pose. Okay, awesome. Uh, okay guys, that does it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and I'll see you guys next time. Namaste.